We are just about set to put the ball on the tee. Everybody get loose and get set for action from the Big 12. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. 15 miles from the Indiana border in the great city of Cincinnati, this is Nippert Stadium. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me call this one is Kirk Herbstreet, and Aaron Andrews also joins us on the sidelines. Welcome to another game of NCAA football. We're brought to you by our friends at Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. Today's game is between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Time's come now to take you down to the field for the coin toss. Men plus care. Be comfortable in your own skin. Kansas State, is Kansas State up to lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He boots it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Huskies were ranked 19th. Another W might have them moving up the charts with a bullet. And for Washington, they put together four straight wins. Washington gets the victory, 21-17. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gonzalez back to pass here on first down. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. He may have changed things up here. Option right side. Pitch out, got the corner. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. This guy had innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. From their own 39-yard line, second down. He drops back. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Back to pass. He sails it long. No, incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Garrett awaits the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. He showed a good burst there. They'll take over at the 31. Cut, cut. 
Here he goes. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 40. Run effectively like this. It'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First down, 10 yards to go. Matthew takes it right side. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Guns up. Texas Tech doing battle in Lubbock. The Red Raiders are out front. 10-0. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. It's second down, seven. Matthews gains about four yards on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Calhoun gets a handoff to the right. He's at the 30. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and it's going to be first and goal. Great timing to call the run right there, and it paid off in a big way. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Dives forward. Calhoun picks up about seven yards on the run. It's second and goal. Ball on the one. They go with the back, and he's in for the touchdown. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Kansas State up six. Unable to convert that two-point conversion on the ground. Nice five-play, 59-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So the score now, 6-0. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 25-yard line. Let's go. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. That's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Calling an audible. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. He's scrambling. Down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. He's going to try and scramble. The quarterback has some room. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. 
But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. Looks like there's an injured player on the field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Siegel on first down. Short pass, middle of the field. That's a great tackle at the 10. That'll make it second and four. That could be a check with me right there. Looks to pass. Just throws this one away. They're about four yards away here on third down. They come out in a five-wide set. Drill at the five yard line. Coleman makes the catch for about five yards on the play, and that's good for a first down. Again, it's the receiver who makes the catch. If there was any doubt as to who was going to be getting the ball before, then there definitely isn't any right now. And he's taken down around the five yard line. He'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. the nine-yard line. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He hits a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Inside give. Makes it to the 37. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 6-3, Kansas State. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 37. Kansas State holds a field goal lead. They'll give it off here. And he hits him hard at the 45. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Let's go. 
He gets out to about the 45 yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And this stadium is getting loud. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Hands it off. Tackle at the 41. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Kansas State has a three-point lead. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 22. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the play. First down. From the 12 yard line. First down. Handoff up the middle. Touchdown, Wildcats. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He boots it deep downfield. He's to the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Luke on the run. Runs right for a nice game. It's second and four. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He may have changed things up here. And he's going to come up with a sack. That is a loss of six on the play. That brings up third and ten. It's third and 10. Ball on their own 22. And he 
tackles him hard at the 16. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Bell awaiting the return. Kansas State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Fourth and long here after the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's at midfield. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Return for a game of 13 yards. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Handoff inside. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Here's a run. And he's tackled at the 24. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Matthews on the give. Tackle made at about the 13. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. They go to the ground game. Touchdown, Kansas State. And that's his second touchdown of the day. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And they're looking to get two points here. They're crowding the line. And he can't get in, trying for the two-point conversion. West is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. Three, maybe four yards on a scramble. Second down and six. Ball on the 31. Complete. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 31. They come out on an empty backfield. Back to pass. He airs it out. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Garrett is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. Gets to about the 34-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. The offense will start at the 34. that quickly at the 30 to the 20 
He's taken down around the 15-yard line. The Wildcats use their second timeout. That makes it first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety to open up that void in the defense and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. A quick two-play, 15-yard drive, and they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. So our score, 26-3. So we've played two quarters. The Wildcats lead 26-3. We are set to start the second half. Both teams are on the field, and we're ready to go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Kansas State, the first half was relatively easy, and they enjoy a comfortable lead. Here's more from Aaron Andrews. Yeah, no surprises, Brad. I was able to speak with the coach who said his guys are doing a good job of not letting up on the intensity. He wants to see that same level of energy as the second half gets going. He thinks he'll be able to get some other guys a little playing time, too. Guys? Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The handbag picks up a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Gives it to the back. And he is drilled at the 37. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Down he goes at the 40. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 40 yard line. He gets it again and he finds an opening. Inside the 30. And they make the stop at the 22. And for Matthews, that carry puts him over the 1,000 mark for rushing yards this year. Anytime a back has a year like this, it sure opens some eyes. And let me tell you, he's earned every one of those yards. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Ready, and he's taken down around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 26-yard line. First down, Graham. And he 
he hits him hard at the five. For a gain of 21 yards. That brings up second and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Brought down at about the five yard line. They're at the five. Second down. 4-4 four, four defense trying to come up with a defensive stand here. They are going to pitch it. Touchdown, K-State. Make it a triple dip, folks. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And it looks like they'll continue to rub it in here. They're lining up for two. Kansas State with a commanding lead. He's got the two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They still have time to put up a few scores. The question is, will it be enough, and can their defense make enough stops for it to matter? They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Finds his tight end open, but he couldn't hold on to it. Sutton was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down to the open field. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. He might not be able to get the pass off. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Obviously, some bad blood between these two teams. They're lining up for two points here. A short yardage defense here. Here's the give. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Cavaliers arrived today holding a spot in the top 25, but barely at number 23. The Bulldogs strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. Every score has had an answer. All locked up at 21. Reese, we really got a lopsided game here. The Wildcats they line up to kick this one away. Coleman deep to return. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Defense stacked in tight here. They're changing the play. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. 
Second and ten. Ball on the 36. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. He drops back. He's going to air it long. Boy, the defense coordinator in the defense has to be very proud of their efforts and what they've been able to do to rattle this quarterback. He's really struggled on this drive. Now here they are facing a fourth down. Bell awaiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's taken down at the 30. And for Matthews, it's been a fun afternoon. Well, he sure has, but the offensive line has given him a lot of room to work with. They're just dominating the point of attack and winning the battle to line of scrimmage. You know, it's his ability to fight for extra yards that I think is really standing out to me because the defense is there many times to make the play, but his determination and strength, I think, at this point has just been too much for this defense to handle. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. They'll start this drive at the 30-yard line. Kansas State in control. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. It's second and 11. Ball in the 29. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. at about the 43 yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. From their own 43 yard line, first down. Tackled for a loss. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43. He gets another carry. They'll bring him down at the 42. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Kansas State up big. He tackles him for a loss. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one is well in hand. Kansas State's got a huge lead. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. He goes downtown. That close to being intercepted. Nice job getting the hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. They'll line it up again on third down. Let's go. 
They go with the back, and he's got room. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's looking for six. Oh, and he can't hold on. Rodgers, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Kansas State looking to put this game away if they score here. On the fake, looking to the end zone. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. On the handoff, watch out. He's taken down at the 11. That's a gain of 16. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? We take you out to this clash in the Big Ten. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Fighting Illini get the W, 17-10. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. From the 11-yard line, first down. Inside handoff. This offense has been driven by this young man with four touchdowns. We wondered if the linebackers were going to be able to slow him down today, and I guess that answer is pretty simple. No. And they're going for two here. I guess they just want to rub it in. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. An 11-play, 70-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job. But really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. He's to the 10. Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 26. Back to pass. And he's level with the 35 yard line. That's a game of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. He is drilled at the 24. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick strike, and he drops it. Coleman was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Garrett awaits the snap. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 42. 
Less than three minutes in the game. He throws it. Richard breaks it up. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So they're going to go for it here. Hands it off. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 40. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he's taken down at the 28. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Just under two minutes in the game. Matthews gets the carry. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 24-yard line, second down. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll run it. They get in, touchdown. I really don't see why they think it's necessary to go for two points here. They put everyone up on the line. And they won't get the two. A nine play, 58 yard drive. But the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The Kansas and it looks State like they're ready for the kickoff. For the kickoff. Coleman deep to return. Coleman from the one. And they push him out around the 33 yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Under a minute left in the game. He's looking to pass. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Atlantic Coast Conference action in the spotlight. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Coleman, he threw for more than 150 yards. Maryland wins it 31-24. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you.
Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here's the option. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Back to pass. And he's sacked. Quarterback. Kansas State's a little confused. They used their second timeout. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Bell is back deep to return the punt. And he just got drilled. Return for a gain of 10 yards. You just hope that a game this uneven ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and pointless at the end. Kansas State in control. First down, look at the throw. He airs it out and got him. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. That was a nice catch. He went up leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. The Wildcats are going to have to call their third and final timeout. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Gain of 14 yards. That brings up second and goal. First down, chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. Defense stacked in tight here. Halfback carries and he will score. Obviously, some bad blood between these two teams. They're lining up for two points here. Defense and their short yardage package. He's got the two. Ready to kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And here's a quick throw. Just a total lack of competition today. Kansas State, 62. Cincinnati, 3. And the Bearcats, 3. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? They looked like they were in good shape coming in, but the result here is still impressive. Kansas State made a statement today. When you can go out on the field and justify being a favorite, you're telling everybody something.
And for Matthews, his superb play merits the honor of player of the game. For the Wildcats, they remain unbeaten. They pick up their fifth win of the season. And for the Bearcats, it's been a pretty tough year so far as they fall to two and three. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk, Aaron, and everyone here at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye. We'll see you next time.